So, my name is Morello Kane. I am a hair care provider for over 20 years. Let me say that. So, when I talk about heat damaged hair, Facebook fam, the IG, the, the Instagrammers, when I talk about heat damaged hair, I know what I'm talking about. Okay, for over 20 years, I've been servicing clients. Okay, wrote the book, Seven Love Languages of Hair. So, I, I make it my business to know about hair, how hair grow. Okay, what makes hair grow? And y'all have to understand, hair has a personality. Okay, understand that. Hair, hey, hi there. Kevin, hi there. So great for you to be here with me. Um, I tell you, we talked about, you know, your mom and hair. And um, don't know if you're still in Boston. How are things there? But yes, we are here today. To talk about it okay heat damage hair and so when I tell you um, you know again last week okay we talked about heat damage hair and what it looked like years ago okay when we were applying heat appliances which were the strengthening comb okay that's what we use all right but now in understanding that you know the tools have changed you know things change and so when they were looking at how heat damaged hair, you know, um, how they would test the tools, okay, was with the tissue paper. That's what they tested the tools with. And if it scorched this, that meant that it was too hot. But now, if it did not, you were good. And so, these appliances was coming off the stove. You had no idea in knowing how hot they were. And so we are truly getting ready to get into, you know, the straight ends, the life, the lifeless of the strands and um, because they don't have the same curl pattern. So a lot of you are like, oh, my God, I have heat damaged hair. And during the pandemic, you know, just from all of the straightening and just trying to look, you know, like you're saying um, in the midst of everything that's going on, you know, a lot of you place a lot of heat into your hair. And so we're going to talk about it today. And so do, do share. Now is the time because we are dropping them today. Heat damaged hair it is. Do share. And so, so let's talk about, okay, this heat damaged hair. So now let me just say that individuals tend to think that heat damaged hair, you know, they, they, because... Okay, natural hair is, is just trending and huge. It's, it's not going anywhere. So trend is just something here today, going tomorrow. Natural hair is truly not going anywhere. But so when I say trending, it's popping. Okay, especially to marketers. Okay, so it's truly hot right now. And so when it comes to natural hair, um, again, we tend to think that, you know, the strands that are straight, okay, lifeless. So now, you know, what else could create that? Okay, what else could create um, those different strands? So first, let's talk about the curl pattern on the hair. Okay, so now we tend to think, you know, when we see the commercials, when we see the videos, when we see television, you know, in the books and whatnot, you tend to see these individuals with the most beautiful curl pattern. You know, it's consistent throughout the entire head. And so thank you so much. Thank you. Love you always, Kevin. Thank you. And so, but, but we I'm here every Monday at 7. So definitely come back and see me. And so when I tell you, um, when it comes to heat damage hair, um, you know, the curl patterns is everything pertaining to that. Okay, so now again, um, Facebook, IG, thank you. Thank you guys. And please do continue to share. So when I tell you, when it comes to um, you know, what can create these different patterns on the hair? Now, ev everyone is not born with a consistent curl pattern on the head, okay, and understanding that. And so when we have the different curl patterns on the head, um, when we do certain styles on the hair, when you twist that hair out, you're telling that hair that you want it to elongate, okay? So now if you have different curl patterns on the head and when you go to twisting that hair okay you're going to get the different 
you telling your curls that you want it to elongate. So now if you have a curl pattern that's, you know, maybe tight in the crown area, but back here is looser, and then you just have, you know, the different strands kind of throughout, again, how you how you handle that hair is going to be very important. Okay, and then understanding too, moisture is everything when it comes to hair. All right. Now, again, the hair does not automatically becomes moisture balance. Okay. And so getting the proper treatments on the hair, using the proper oils on the hair. When I tell you one great oil to use on the hair is Oregon oil, because not only will it, um, is also an antibacterial that on the scalp, but then also it hydrates the hair as well. So if you apply it at night, it gives it time to soak into, you know, so that in the morning is not heavy. Okay. And so again, that's one of the things that can create that loose, you know, where the hair is, where the curl pattern is not consistent. Not only having different curl patterns on the head, but then also too, if that hair is dry. Okay. So if that hair is dry, it is not going to hold that curl pattern it is not okay so now you have this hair that is dry is natural and is dry and is not hydrated you know and so what you're trying to do is find all types of products to put into the hair okay you're trying to find all types of products okay but again if if the hair is not properly treated Okay, it, it is, is, you know, oviparous is not absorbing the moisture into that strand. You setting that hair up, okay, if you're not hydrating that hair to where it's going to become brittle. Okay, now brittle hair is the recipe for split ends. It's the recipe of it, you know. And so if you're not getting your ends trimmed and then you have... You know, this dryness that's going on, now it's starting to break up the shaft. Okay, so that is what, one, is creating that thinness with the hair. It's because that hair has broken off of the shaft. And so you, you truly have to understand how important it is to hydrate your hair. Because, you know, you're thinking that, you know, my hair is heat damaged. But technically, it is damage from lack of moisture. It's not always about the heat. But now let me say this. If it is dry and you're constantly using heat on it and not want to place in the oil on it, afraid that it may weigh it down, now you set yourself up again for that hair to break, okay? For those strands to be thin and, that, and when hair is dry, let me tell you, that curl pattern is not the same at all. I'm here to tell you, it's not. And so, in the strategy, when, when I am creating a strategy for a client's hair, you know, that's one of the first things that I'm looking at is how hydrated the hair is. Okay, because you're thinking, you're thinking, you know, I need to cut my hair off because it's heat damage. No, you need a great trim. Because, you know, your thins, your, the strands, you have those strands, your hair is drying out and it's breaking. And so you're thinking that it's heat damaged hair, but in fact, not really. But again, if you are applying heat to that hair that's already breaking because you're not getting the trim and, and dry, it's dried out, then, then, then at that time, heat becomes a problem. But you already had a problem prior to where you're thinking that, oh, it's too much heat. Heat sometimes can help. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. Okay, heat can sometimes help. Okay, so now let me just say Facebook. Okay, IG. Do you guys truly understand that hair has personality? Okay, hair, hair is a whole personality. You can think that it's not if you want to. It's a whole personality, all right? And so in understanding that, you have to understand 
what is your own texture's love language. You have to understand that because if you don't, you're setting yourself up again to have these lifeless straight strands throughout the hair. And whereas you think, oh, it's heat damage. So let me cut the heat down to one time a week as though that's going to help solve the problem. It is not at all. Okay. So now just getting you guys to understand. So I wanted to do a demonstration. Okay. Wanted to do a demonstration. Have my flat irons here that goes up to 450. Now, again, when individuals back in the day, years ago, when they actually used um, the straightening combs that was, you know, made out of brass, when they actually used that, um, they would test the um, heat, okay, with something as thin as this tissue paper here, okay? And so they will actually use this to test the how much heat. Because again, there were no um, temperature gauges on these tools to let you know. So when you took it off the stove, you, didn't, you really didn't know how hot it was. Okay, but people successfully straighten their hair every two weeks, got that shampoo set. Okay, and their hair was healthy. You know, because again, it was... Sir, they were serviced by a hair care provider that knew what they were talking about and doing. Okay, so now, so now let me just say again, um, and, and let me know if you guys have any questions pertaining to heat damage hair. You know, again, this is something that, you know, we are truly battling with. You know, we have girls that are literally cutting off their hair at home. You know, not for, with a hair care provider, you know, not having their mom, you know, to look at the hair and they're trimming it off. No, the children are taking, you know, measures in their own hands because they feel that their hair cannot be, there's no reversing to that. Okay. And so when hair is dried out and start breaking up the shaft, there is no reversing of that. You do have to trim that. Okay. But now... Now, I have, now let me just say, when we are flat ironing hair, okay, the hair literally is not sitting in this one position on these, on an individual's strands for this long. It's not. You're constantly taking, you moving that flat iron through the hair. So, the heat is not truly sitting in one spot at one time. Okay, so again, having this on here, this is how we tested hair back in the day okay and so let me just show you guys here okay nothing there you could tell where the flat iron there bit okay the paper but no scorching whatsoever none okay the tissue paper okay so now let me take uh, let me something as soft as a neck strip okay and you can see the smoke coming from here 450 degrees guys Okay, so that's one of the things that we wanted to check. It, because my thing, again, E, hi there, love. Okay, this is what we do. We, we talk care and education. Okay, great to see you, love. And so when I tell you, when you talk about 450, and again, it's sitting. It is sitting here, 450 degrees, you can see. And so again, this is how, back in the day, they tested to see if this was too much heat on your hair. Okay, and if it did not scorch the tissue paper, then they went ahead and applied it to the hair. They did not have a temperature gauge. Okay, but we do have to understand this right here should let you guys understand and know how important hydration and trimming the hair is. Okay, if you want a more consistent curl pattern, hydration is the key. How you think they kept that Jerry girl up and healthy? And let do not use an activator and or that leave-in conditioner on that Jerry curl and, and tell me the results that you have. That frizzy, you would not have a a um the, the curl pattern would not be defined. Okay, would not be defined, not whatsoever. Hi there, Miss Lorena. 
none whatsoever. Okay, so the whole time we've had this applied. And again, no scorching on this paper. Okay, you can definitely tell how long the, um, and it's set in one place. Now, here's the thing. I can see a little difference, but I want to say that this set on this paper for a good two to three minutes. And they, heating tools are not, okay, when you, again, when you're flat ironing the strands of hair, you're going through, it's not sitting in one, you know, area. And again, I can tell a little, you know, uh, from, you know, that sitting on that paper, but I mean, like, so you do have to understand then, um, and this is the next drill. We're talking about very, very, very thin. Baby, bring me the Charmin. No, I'm just playing. I will not. Okay. Uh, paper, paper, thin tissue. And so, again, apply, you know, these tools that we now use in the industry, you know, the technology behind these, you know, is truly now developed to where they can actually help us. And so um, that's one of the things that we would definitely get into um, our topic next week on Monday. Definitely you want to go, okay, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have other great topics on there. So if you have some issues, hi there, love. So if you have some issues with your hair, definitely you will find a topic there that will be able to assist you. But Oh, but we are for the rest of the year talking about heat damage hair because it's truly important, truly important. So not only, you know, we're we talking about how to combat it. You know, what does it look like? We talked today about what it looks like. Now, you know what you need to watch out for. OK, and so going forward, going forward, you know, you would hear from um, our clients, other professionals when it comes to heat damage hair, what products to use on it. So definitely you want to stay tuned. Next Monday at 7 o'clock, right here, the hair debate. Okay, my name is Marella K. Marella Kane. This is the platform where we debunk, debate, and discover all things hair. Thank you so much, IG and Facebook, for being with me this evening. Y'all have a great one.